How's it going everyone? This is Derek from Nintendad and I'm going to show you a little bit of the combat in Sukuna of Rice and Ruin. First we're going to go to the Amagaishi Shrine, I hope I said that right, and this is just a good place to mess around with the combat. We'll try and keep it as spoiler free as possible. And this is just going to be one of two videos that we're going to do to show off this game a little bit. Now I've already cleared some of these areas in the shrine, so you'll probably notice that I can go through them rather quickly. My character is leveled up uh, decently well. So one of the cool things about this is that there is uh, some deep combos in there. I say deep, but it's, it's, it's what you can make of it. Uh, you have your regular attacks, you have strong attacks that can combo into each other, and then you have special attacks. Um, this big spin that I keep doing that knocks all the enemies through, that is one of the special attacks, and that is the green bar that shows my energy for it. It does recharge by itself, and it is used to knock enemies sometimes through walls or into each other. Okay, that was the first floor cleared. And then also you have Sakuna's Raiment, which allows her great mobility, but also she can use it to uh, sometimes hurt smaller enemies. Like, I flung that owl, or sparrow, completely into its friend. And then, one, two, and then there's another one of its uh, special moves. A big uh, multiple hit combo. Boom. And also, if you do an air combo and land it with a final hit, you can sometimes slam other enemies into each other. Alright, and one of my favorite moves, I'll show you in a second when we get to that area that's better suited for it, is uh, the Tidal Wave special move. Okay. Also, another thing to be wary of when it gets uh, nighttime in the day night cycle, enemies become stronger. And that shouldn't be too much of a problem right now because where I am so high level. Okay. And there is the tidal wave. And it is decimating. And then there is also the smash move I was talking about and it can just mow through these weaker enemies. So the combat is relatively fun and then there's also the ability to uh, parry some blocks or some uh, attacks which will allow you to get in closer to the enemy to strike. Let's see if I can parry something real quick. There we go. And when you parry them, you just uh, push forward right as soon as the enemy's attacking. And that is very crucial for some of the larger enemies, some of the mini bosses, and some of the boss fights. Alright, and I think we are on to a mini boss right now. Yeah, or Red Belly. See if we can get it Notice he's got a larger health bar. Oh. All uh, Dark Souls. But this game is definitely not uh, difficulty wise the same level as Dark Souls. Although it can be challenging at times, but not for your controller. You die! It's, uh, another good thing to do always is to keep moving 
always keep moving so that way you won't be getting hurt as much. Another cool thing about this uh, Tidal Wave load use it on normal enemies, it usually launches them into the air, which can be good for comboing, but for the larger enemies, it can just be something that's good for a lot of solid hits to them. Okay, so one of these rabbits, you see, okay, he's throwing bombs, and thankfully the bombs hurt everyone, including himself if he knocks it down. So that's kind of fun to do. Just knock the bomb out of his hand and let him get blown up by it. Okay. And we tore through the first flo uh, four floors. Because uh, I don't count floor number one because it's literally just like this. You can go back and forth from there. Alright, let's see if we can go a little bit further. In the top left corner you can see what looks like uh, half of an eaten rice ball. If you get a healing bonus, it allows you to kill yourself in between fights. As long as that's there, when you are not in combat or actively being attacked, you can be healed. And that all depends on the meal system whatever you have for a meal the night before. So, a lot of the times it will try to automatically give you natural healing boosts. Um, if you're in an area of like poison or something like that, you may have to actively try to find something that'll help you with that. Uh, so, I definitely recommend that. You can make a tea out of it. That'll be good for some of the later levels. You can see I'm getting a little swarmed by them. Uh, when they do that, I do recommend the Tidal Wave, because that'll stop them right in their tracks, and then you can just get them off one by one. And we continue further, further, further down. I think this will be the last floor because I do not want to spoil too much of this. Definitely go try it. Have fun with it. See how far you can get. And you are able to save your progress between each or every five floors. So it's not something you have to do in one single run. But the first time I did this, it took me a little while time-wise. And, like I said, when you are fighting the enemies at night time, they do get harsher, fiercer, faster, stronger. And, might as well turn that on, help me see them a little bit better. And there we are! Floor defeated. Well again, this was Derek from Nintendad. Hope you enjoyed our video showcasing the combat of Sukuna of Rice and Ruin. And stay tuned for where we are going to showcase a video all about the rice cycle. Thank you and have a great day.